HT type sensor installation. Every sensor has a numerical marking and its proposed position can be found on the ground plan drawing, which forms a part of every delivery. HD sensors are installed into the structure at the foundation slab level, i.e. in the space where the insulation layer, usually polystyrene, will be subsequently placed. That is why it is an ideal solution to prepare a protector with a diameter of 20 millimeters and cut it slightly at one end, thus creating an air passage to the installed sensor. Pass the HT sensor with the cable connected through the protector all the way to its end. Fasten the cable to the protector at its upper part using, for example, an insulation tape, thus making sure the sensor cannot move during the subsequent installation and handling of the cables. The cables are furnished with connectors already during the production process, so their connection to the sensors is fast, simple, and safe, and the sensors can be repeatedly disconnected and reconnected. Marking of the installation area by the given sensor number is used for photo documentation purposes. Should there be a problem later, this allows us to determine the exact location of the sensor in the structure. Upon placing the sensor in the protector, an air pocket is created around the sensor. This allows us to measure the air in the enclosed floor area even after installing the polystyrene. The protector should be placed in a way that the part with the sensor is installed approximately 3 centimeters above the foundation slab level, while the other part of the protector with the cable should be led into the wall above the floor level. A revision opening or electric box into which the protector will be led should be prepared here. Should there be a suspected leak, this will allow us to remove the sensor with the cable to check the space via the protector using, for example, an endoscopic camera and to return the sensor with the cable back to its original location after the inspection without the need of any demolition works. The HT sensor is also used as an exterior sensor and it measures the parameters that affect the house during the year. The sensor installed outdoor must be protected against rain and direct sunlight. That is why it's ideal to install it at the northern side or under a roof overhang. The sensor can be freely accessible and visible, or it can be installed behind the underside and hidden behind ventilation grating or it can be installed in a wall in, for example, an electric box covered with grating. MHT Type Sensor Installation The MHT sensor measures air humidity and temperature, as well as wood mass wetness. That is why it is always placed into wooden material, to which we must create an access. The sensor is installed into the bottom base threshold horizontally in the direction of the wood annual rings and away from knots, cracks, and beam joints. Using a 10 mm drill bit, drill a hole for the center basket for humidity and temperature measurements in a cavity of the wooden material. Next, fasten the sensor using the supplied longer screws. They also work as probes for wood measurements. Tighten the screw sufficiently and cover the sensor by the covering lid, fastening it using the shorter screws. We recommend to use a protector for every sensor. This allows you to inspect the space using, for example, an endoscopic camera without the need of any demolition works. In this case, install the cable around the protector towards its upper edge where you should form a loop and fasten the cables.
When installing the sensor into a perimeter wall with a steam-resistant foil or hydro insulation, you must make sure that the measuring screws and basket get into the perimeter beam, while also ensuring tightness using an air-stopping tape. The sensor in this case will measure air humidity and temperature inside of the house, where the water and waste pipelines are located. At the same time, the sensor will also measure moisture of the wood beam behind the steam-resistant foil or hydro insulation. Bring the protector to the sensor again and lead the cable around it. Connecting and Testing An important part of checking the functionality of sensors and start of the warranty is subject to their testing and installation and, ideally, also testing just before installing the polystyrene and concreting the floors. Until then, the sensors can be easily accessed and inspected, making sure the cables were not broken or pulled out. Lead all the cables from the sensors to the location where the given switchboard and, subsequently, central unit will be installed. The switchboard is not usually installed yet when the sensors are being installed. Shorten the cables to an identical length as needed. Carefully remove the external insulation from their ends and from individual wires along a segment of approximately half a centimeter. Interconnect the wires of the same color from all sensors and, using the supplied Wago clips, Lead one of the cables to the converter, which should then be connected to the computer via a USB connector. You will receive the installation manual and sensor testing program via email, or you can download the necessary documents in the user account. Using the given links in the manual, specifically in the testing preparation part, install the Java program and converter controllers. We recommend that you do this testing preparation at home or in your office thus making sure you will already have everything ready for the actual testing at the construction site. After restarting the computer, you can then launch the sensor testing program at any time. The sensors will give you the given temperature and humidity information by the means of which you can check their functionality. Please send photographs from the installation of every sensor and sensor testing screens for archiving. Thank you for your attention.